Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me here for another video at the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. Now in this video I'm going to quickly go over the difference between the .trivi.ignore file and the .trivi.yaml file. Those are two different files that serve different purposes in Trivi. Let's get started. You can find the Trivi repository in the Aqua Security GitHub organization. Here is the source code documentation, everything related to Trivi. Open up the documentation to find the installation section with different options on how you can get started and install Trivi in your environment, preferably when you get started in your CLI, in your terminal. So you can use Trivi locally first before going ahead and installing Trivi in your CICD pipelines. So here are different installation options. Make sure to have Trivi installed. The latest version is 0.42.0. So we have Trivia installed and we can get started. Now in the documentation section, you will find the reference material on all of the different options that you have for Trivi. So over here, we find the configuration section on how we can configure Trivi. This is what we want to focus on. Now there are multiple different options, including how you can skip files, how you can report, um, or set up the reporting of the scan output and much more. Now in the configuration section, you will find that you can configure Trivi either through CLI flex. So if we say, for example, Trivi image for the image scans, you have all of those different flags that you can use. Oh, there's a lot um, <laughs> to configure Trivi. So for example, you can configure the input um, if you happen to have like not a specific container image, uh, but another format, you can find the severity, you can find define whether you only want to see fixed issues. You can define the server for client server mode. Um, also when you want to use Trivi in an air gapped environment and much more. So this is just for the Trivi image command. Now, Trivi has lots of different commands. As you can see here, those are the main commands and all of those have different flags as well as overlapping flags. So that's one way you can configure Trivi through the CLI flags. The other one is environment variables. Now that's actually something that I'm using far less of personally because I'm lazy, but that's really handy in your CICD pipeline. So environment variables is another option how you can configure Trivi. Now you can also use a Trivi YAML file. Trivi YAML file is, is provided on this page here for the details. So Trivi can be customized through a Trivi YAML file and the Trivi YAML file can either live in your current directory. So where you perform basically the scan. So for example, here I could provide the Trivi YAML file in my current directory. So if I now perform a scan, then the Trivi YAML file is passed indirectly. So over here in my Trivi demo directory and the link to the actual repository is also provided below in the description. So in here I have my Trivi config file, the same Trivi config that I've set up over here. So this is the same Trivi config file. You can find the different configuration options here under the Trivi config file documentation. It's under references, under reference for the CLI, for the configuration for Trivi. You can find CLI references on the different CLI commands, as well as the config file. You can find the different modes that Trivi can run in much more. So do check out also the reference section here below at the bottom of the documentation. Now here you will find the different configuration options for the different commands in Trivi through the different um, CLI commands with the different flags and so on. And based on that, I have set up my trivi.yaml file. Here's my trivi.yaml file. Now I've specified I only want to see critical security issues. Could also specify high. In this case, it's just critical. And I can specify, for example, here where my trivi ignore file that we're going to look at in a second lives. And other things, lots of things I can specify here. Now this is just a subsection of all the different configurations that you can perform on your different types of scans. Now I want to perform a scan on my bad infrastructure as code directory. And in that directory, I have three other directories, a Docker, Kubernetes and Terraform directory. Now I don't want to scan my Terraform directory. I only want to scan my Kubernetes and Docker directory. So that's what this specifies. If I say skip directory here, the bad infrastructure is code Terraform directory, that's going to be skipped. So I'm going to say Trivi config and then bad infrastructure is code. And that's going to perform a misconfiguration scan. 
using the trivium. Fine, that I just shown you. Now I detected two configurations, two configuration files, which is correct. In each of those, in the Docker directory and in the Kubernetes directory, I each have one configuration file. So number two is <laughs> two is the right number. Um, so in this case, as you can see, there is no output. Why is there no output? Well, I specified I only want to see critical issues. If I say I want to see critical high and medium issues, if I specify that, then and I pass it into the scan, then I should see more issues presented to me in that scan. Now, again, as you can see, I have here my Docker file and then I have further down my bad infrastructure's code YAML manifest that I scanned as well. I don't have any Terraform being scanned over here. Now, what you could do is if you want to have different types of scans for your different environments, you could specify, for example, a trivi config directory and that you can specify what configuration you want to have for the misconfiguration YAML scan and what configuration you want to have for the vulnerability scan. And then you can pass it into the trivi.yaml manifest by providing the flag, the dash dash config flag. So we can, for example, say we want to add this part to the misconfiguration YAML. And then we want to say trivi config dash dash. And then the configuration is in the trivi config misconfiguration and we want to scan the bad infrastructure as code directory and this should perform a similar scan output to before and only scan our two files not the terraform file so over here yeah again only those two files are detected um, the terraform is ignored the terraform directory now you can also specify specific files you would like to ignore and similar now that's about the trivi.yaml manifest. Here you configure basically trivi. That's what you do in the trivi.yaml manifest. As always, all of the resources that I'm referencing, such as the links to the different sections in the documentation is linked below in the description. Do check out those resources. So in comparison to the trivi.yaml file, what is the trivi ignore file, the dot trivi ignore file? So you can find the dot trivi ignore file or of information on the dot trivi ignore file by filtering here under configuration filtering it's configuring the output it's not configuring trivi itself but the output that you would like to see or not want to see if you go by findings ids here you can specify the dot trivi ignore file and you just specify the different cves that you want to ignore and you can also specify until when you would like to ignore them you can also specify if you want to ignore secrets or other output. So that's what the dot trivi ignore file does. Similar to how you would have that in the current directory. So you can have a dot trivi ignore file in the current directory, then trivi will automatically use it. However, you can alternatively also specify the dot trivi ignore file as part of your flags. So here we have a dash dash ignore file string and you can specify an alternative path. That's another option. So this is what you would do if you want to specify the dot trivia ignore file. Now, if I perform the scan again, right? The same scan from before. And just, uh, just as an example, I want to ignore this misconfiguration issue. I don't really care about it. So what I would do is I would open this uh, link, the AVD link. And in here, I find the ID. Yay! So the ID and I paste the ID into my dot trivi ignore file. And that's right now in my trivi ignore. So I have to specify the path so I can say ignore file, just this ignore file, and then it's ignore, trivi ignore, trivi ignore, and then it's the dot trivi ignore. And now it should go ahead and ignore 
that finding. And as you can see, we have the KSV 0 to 2 now over here instead of the uh, 0, 0 to 3. And I could specify that I want to ignore this medium vulnerability, this medium misconfiguration issue, not vulnerability as well, just by specifying that in also my dot trivia ignore file. And this is how the dot trivia ignore file works. It's a way to ignore findings, like literally ignore them, versus the trivia.yaml file is a way to configure the trivia scan output and scanning process. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content, if it was useful to you, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos to make sure as well that other people see our videos, our content as well. If you have any suggestions for future videos, if anything is unclear within Trivi or the Trivi operator, then please do comment those suggestions below of this video. We will get back to it and create future content on those suggestions. Now, I really hope you have an amazing day and to see you next time. Bye-bye.